Tuesday evening and business came to a standstill at the newly opened Garden City Mall in Nairobi after three suspects were arrested while in possession of a suspected improvised explosive device. What's happening? <laughs> Wednesday morning, police moved in to assure the public of the security, saying investigations into the incident have been launched. I would like the public to note that this was not an IED, the improvised explosive device. It was a device made of three old phones that were wrapped in a tape and some wires. They, however, moved to array fears that security agents thwarted an imminent terror attack, saying that the gadget had no capacity to explode. The, de the device was found not to be containing any explosive, and hence it did not qualify to be an improvised explosive device. Yesterday, the incident disrupted normal operations at the busy mall, as bomb experts moved in to secure the place where guards at the mall had displayed the IED before destroying it using controlled explosion. Police spokesperson Charles Owino says officers from the anti-terrorism police unit picked up the three Kenyan men for questioning to establish the motive behind their attempt to sneak in with the device. And Kasarani police station have handed them over to uh, our uh, anti-terror unit uh, for purpose of... Uh, getting deeper into the investigations and establishing uh, what could have been the motive. And from there we could also get to know who are other people that could be uh, in relation, could, be, could, could, could have uh, been involved in this. Meanwhile, it is business as usual at the mall with the situation under control and security beefed up after it was opened earlier today. Three suspects are still in police custody, even as the police insist the device that was captured is not an IED. But in the meantime, security has been beefed up in all city malls and all other major facilities in the country. Reporting for KBC Channel 1, I'm Ron Cliff, Audit.